Well, Robbie, I think it was fate that at some point in your career you would play for Aston Villa. Great to have you here at, at Bodymore Thank Heath. You. What are your thoughts on uh, signing this loan deal? Yeah, it's obviously it's uh, it's great to be here. It's a, you know it's a great club and great tradition. And um, obviously coming here, I know a lot of a lot of the lads anyway. Uh, a lot of Irish players here. It's taken over the place. Um, <laughs> So no, no, I'm excited about it. Um, I'm looking forward to it. As I said it's only for you know two months or so, so uh, short, short term, but uh, it's something I'm looking forward to. Yeah, it's funny how you've been linked repeatedly, almost every transfer window. Your name is associated with Aston Villa. You know all about the traditions mm. of, the, of this football club, of course. You, you've played in this area. How, how exciting is it to? Uh, to, to be have the prospect of pulling on that claret and blue jersey. Yeah, I mean it's obviously nice to you know, come back in the, the Premiership. As I said, it's only for a, for a short term. There's been obviously a lot of speculation over you know the years since I've uh, you know been in the Premiership. There's always I've always been linked to the Villa under uh, various managers, and you know never kind of uh, came really really close. There's a, there's a lot of talk, but uh, a few occasions there's, there's there was talking going on between certain clubs, but uh, and Villa was always one of those clubs, but it never sort of materialised into you know, uh, getting really close to be done, but it's done now. And um, I said, I'm happy to be here. Uh, it's for two months and I'll, you know, I'll, I'll give my best for two months. Mm, what are your memories of playing against Villa? Yeah, I've got a good good few memories there. Obviously, you know, been in the Premiership for a long time. And uh, you know, certainly the, the the one I can sort of stand out is the one at uh, White Hart Lane, the 4-4, and I think it was 125th uh, anniversary of. That's right. Tottenham with them blue and white shorts and uh, we were getting beaten 4-1 and we came back 4-4 so that was a, a good game and uh, I think we had a, a couple as well uh, at Villa Park so you know, it's a great stadium obviously you know I know a lot of the, the players here which makes it obviously a lot easier. Yeah and Villa Park one of the, the top venues. Yeah it's a great stadium I mean uh, it's one of, the, one of the best stadiums in the in the league you know so uh, you know to play there for, for the short term that I'm here and I'm looking forward to it. Darren Bent's in the room. In the background there. Hello, Darren. Uh, good to be uh, to be linking up with him again. Oh yeah, obviously. Uh, I've played with Darren for <coughs> you know a few years. Uh, you know, Spurs and he's a you know top player. And he's, he's he's proven over the years, but well, a good player he is. But the amount of goals that he scored. So I uh, look forward to linking with him and you know uh, and the other players that's here. And, uh, you know they have a great squad here, and you know hopefully I can be a good addition to that. Yeah, renewing that partnership. The fact you played with Darren before. Do you think that'll help now for Villa? <coughs> yeah, I mean, by no means do I think I'm going to come in here and you know walk into the team. This you know I wouldn't be naive to think to think that uh, you know they have you know good players here and you know uh, Gabby and uh, obviously you know Heskey who's here, but I'm not too sure what he's, he's injured at the moment and and Delfonso. So you know they have you know good strikers here and you know but I can help uh, you know in the short term. You know uh, I think that'd be only good for myself and Aston Villa. Yeah, of course, we know that you can create and score goals, and there is some some good delivery there as well with the likes of Mark Albrighton and Charles and Zobbia. Yeah, yeah, they've got you know a good mixture here of uh, you know youth and and, and experience. Um, uh, Albrighton's come come through in the last couple of years, and uh, you know it's done brilliant. Obviously, uh, <coughs> we know Charles, uh, you know from his days in Newcastle and playing against him. You know he's a, he's a great player. And, uh, now they have some they have some quality in the team. And, uh, as I said, if I can be. Uh, in addition to that, and you know, help them in the short term. They're able, you know, as I said before, it can only be only good for you know, myself and Aston Villa. You mentioned the Irish players: Shay Given, Richard Dunn, Stephen Ireland, Kieran Clark. You know, it's uh, it's it's wonderful to have so many sort of top class. Yeah, Irish of course. Players. I mean, it's always you know, it's, it's, it's always difficult to to a new club your first day, and you know, you don't know, not, uh, don't know too many faces, but you know, <laughs> I know. Of, a lot of people, obviously, you know the manager as well, and a few of the backroom staff, and from being uh, you know Celtic with you know Peter Grant, so you know Kevin from the Irish setup, so uh, it's coming into a, a squad where I know a lot of lot of people, so you know that certainly does make it a lot easier for you. Yeah, and Alex, an admirer of you, clearly, uh, you've you've you almost ended up playing for him before. Now, what, what can how can he? Help you, and, and and what about the relationship with him? That's, a, that's an yeah, yeah, I've one. got a good. I know, obviously, I know Alex. Uh, you know, before and uh, you know, been in contact with him for a good few years, and uh, you know, he's a, he's done a great job wherever he's went. You know, when he's he's building a, a good squad here. So, um, you know, I look forward to to being part of that for the for the few months that I'm that I'm here, and uh, I look forward certainly to working there. Yeah, lots of talk about your experience. How can you? 
offer that perhaps to the young players as well? How can that benefit Villa? Do you think yeah, why can be why can be a help of you know off the pitch and you know certainly on the pitch. Uh, you know, good with the experience that I have and you know the other experienced players that are here. So I'm sure in the short term that I can you know certainly help the young players and uh, and the players that are already here. And, uh, you know, I'm still only you know I'm not too old. I'm still 31, so I've, I've still got a lot of uh, years left in me. So you know, every player is always learning. I'm certainly learning. And it'd be good to you know play with these players and and uh, to work on on a daily basis for a few months and and. and you know, I've seen them from afar. Obviously, you see how good they are. It'd be good to, you know, to try them for two months that I'm here and play with them. Uh, and uh, I'm certainly looking forward to it. Do you feel you're at the peak of your game at the moment? <coughs> well, it's tough, isn't it? Because I'm I'm coming into a kind of uh, first time in, in 15 years, 14 years that I've, I've had a Christmas off. You know, so uh, I've had a few weeks off, which uh, I'm obviously certainly not used to having. Uh, but it's come, at, you know, it's come at a good time for me. And, uh, but I've always keep, I always keep myself ticking over, keep myself fit. And as I said I've had the few weeks off, which will on, uh, only benefit me. I think um, it's been a sort of a hectic, you know, four months for me with the you know, LA Galaxy and doing a lot of travelling with the with the Irish team. So it's, it was a break that was, was certainly needed. But uh, like any any footballer, you sort of learn to, to get back. And uh, I've had me few weeks off now, and I'm looking looking forward to get back in amongst the action. I make this your tenth club, Robbie. So you're not new to fitting in with new teammates, are you? Is, is no, that something you, you enjoy? Yeah, I mean, it's as I said, I'm used to it, so it's not that something that it's that I find very daunting, to be honest. But it's uh, it's, a, it's uh, I like challenges, and uh, everywhere I went, I've I've, I've enjoyed it. Uh, every club is obviously different, uh, different different setups and and different personnel. So uh, now it's uh, I'm looking forward. To it. As I said, it's it's come it's come out kind of a, a good time for me. With the, the season in uh, LA is obviously a little bit different than than there is uh, in in the MLS than than over here. So uh, it's come at a, a decent time for me. You know, I didn't want to have to spend too much time off. Uh, you know, sitting and having six, seven, whatever, eight weeks off, wherever it was. So uh, I'm only used to uh, over the years since I've been playing is getting three, four weeks off. Obviously playing for international, so that's the only amount of time you get off. So I've had kind of. All in all, three, maybe, maybe four weeks of it, uh, probably off. But I'm looking forward to sort of getting getting back now and, and, and playing again. Yeah, Euro 2012 draws Evan era, a proud yeah. Irish skipper, and it is that a, a big thing as well. You can get some Premier League games under your belt, keep yourself really fresh. Well, keep, yeah, keep myself fit. You know, it was, it was one of those where I wasn't too sure whether you know I really wanted to to go on loan. To be honest with you, it was kind of it was 50-50, and then. Sort of the longer I, f I took off, uh, you know, and still got another two, three weeks to sort of go back to the club. We go back to the club in the 20 seconds, so it was a bit, little bit too long for me. What I'm, what I'm used to, you know. So I think the three weeks, three weeks was was certainly enough, uh, certainly enough time for me. Um, so it's obviously the, the euros. I think that will, will stand me in good stead now. We haven't having three weeks off, but. You know, that's months down the line. Uh, all I'm concentrating now is, is, is Aston Villa for two months and I'll give 100% that, that I'm here, and, uh, which I always do at uh, any club that I'm at. Yeah, we've discussed the Irish players. And of course, there is a big Irish tradition at Aston Villa. I'm yeah. sure you're aware yeah, of that of with Paul McGrath, mm. Steve Staunton. Andy Towns. Ray, Ray Howe. Howe. Yeah, yeah. The, the list is, uh, mm. is almost endless, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's uh, over the years, you know, since I was a kid, there's always, there's always Irish players uh, played for Aston Villa. And, uh, you know, people in Ireland, you know, follow them closely. But I think because of that, because of the tra tradition of, uh, you know, always Irish, or Irish players playing here. So yeah, it's the same now. Myself, Shea, you know, St uh, Stephen, Richie, uh, Kieran. I said there's a few, there's a lot of young players as well uh, coming through, which is always good. Um, so it's good. It's uh, it's keeping the tra tra tradition going. And it's strange how things work out in football. Landon Donovan. Yeah. The opposition on Saturday, your LA teammate. Yeah, I look forward to uh, uh, kicking him. You know, uh, <laughs> obviously uh, two of us are here for two months, so uh, I know I know he was he was looking forward to to, to getting back and uh, getting back to the Premiership for for a couple of months. Uh, I know he enjoyed his time at, um, at Everton when when he was here previous, I think a couple of years ago. So um, I look forward to look forward to playing against him. And hopefully, shake his hand after after getting three points. Yeah, he's a, he's a pal of yours now, but he won't be in the build-up to no, the game. No. Will Any banter will no, be in the no, build-up? No, no, of course. No? No. <laughs> uh, once you cross that white line, 
the enemies. Yeah, you, you played a vital role. You know, you, you combined, didn't you, for the goal in the MLS? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, we've, we've had good, good uh, combination uh, since I've been there. We've, we've played, we've linked up and played well together. So he's a, he's a good player. He'd be a good addition to to Everton. But he's shown, hasn't he, at what impact you can make coming um, on loan <coughs> at this time of year. So you'd love to have a similar sort of. Oh yeah, of course. Point. I mean, it's uh, obviously it's. You know, I'll, I'll do my best. Hopefully, score a few goals if I can help the team and, and give a good balance to the team. You know, all well and good. And, uh, as long as the you know the managers uh, and the players is happy uh, and the fans and that's the most important thing. Yeah, you made a few debuts, but yeah, that they're always special. Aren't yeah, they? of course. It, like for, for any club, regardless who it is. I mean, you wanna you wanna you know uh, you wanna look after yourself and you know I've got pride and uh, as a player, you know I've, I've played the highest level for, for for a long time, played in the Premiership for a long time. So um, you know, it's I certainly wanna wanna make an impact that I'm here and you know, as I said, if I can help in any way uh, possible in the two months, that'd be great. Yeah, I remember a Robbie Keane hat-trick against, uh, against Everton for Spurs uh, yeah. many, many years ago. So you got good uh, memories of, of playing them. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, I've had a good, good few games, yeah. Obviously, that, was the, that one probably stands out, obviously, uh, a lot more than, than, than certain other games. But yeah, I scored a hat-trick against them, so uh, it'd be nice to do the same if, if selected. Yeah, hopefully some FA Cup action as well. It's, yeah, yeah, exactly, mm. yeah, it'd be nice to, to get involved in the FA Cup again. I mean. Regardless which team we play, I think it's uh, it'd be good. Leeds is obviously one of the old teams, and Arsenal's always good to go to get a nice bit of stick there. Mm -hmm. Being an ex-Tottenham player, so it should be good.